What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today Brie Larson as Ahsoka. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Because that is the rumor and this is something I've been talking about. We have been talking about it at Geeks and Gamers for a while now. Cecil is actually the first one that actually told me about this months and months ago. Uh, his theory. Uh, I've talked about this a lot on the channel. Obviously, I'm a huge Ahsoka Tano fan. She's my favorite Star Wars character. And I don't like Brie Larson. And if this actually is true, if this becomes true, this only confirms every single thing that I have ever said about Disney. I predicted that Kevin Feige was involved with Lucasfilm decision making. I said that about a month ago when all of the Brie Larson stuff happened. And if you don't remember, I mean, we covered... So this was... September 25th, we we covered some of the Brie Larson uh, to lead a Star Wars movie. Uh, then she responded two days later. We re we covered that. If you go back on the channel, I've talked about a lot of this uh, in terms of that with Brie Larson and being cast as Ahsoka. There was an interaction with her and Ashley Eckstein, who actually voices the great Ahsoka, who I actually met at uh, San Diego Comic Con. I don't know if she knew who I was, but I'm sure if she did, she wouldn't have been so nice to me. But Anyway, they had a meeting, I guess uh, they met at some, I can't remember, I think it might have been Galaxy's Edge or something like that, and, and, and Ashley gave this ridiculous, all these ridiculous uh, compliments to Brie Larson and how, what she embodied and all this crap, and, and I said back then that that was a move, like they're tr they are positioning Brie Larson for this role, this is what they want. Will it actually happen? We'll see, but these rumors continue to pop up because Disney and Kevin Feige and Lucasfilm want Brie Larson in this role. There's no doubt in my mind. Now, we have faced a lot of criticism from people saying we shouldn't be running with that story. It's clickbait. It's yada, yada, yada. We'll run with whatever story we want based on what we think. And I have been saying for a while now that this is something that they want. So let's read this. A new rumor indicates that Kevin Feige wants Brie Larson to play Ahsoka Tano in an upcoming live-action Star Wars. The rumor comes from We Got This Covered, who state Feige is considering Ahsoka Tano for his recently announced Star Wars film. They also add that if indeed Tano is brought into live action, the studio is interested in having Larson play her. They do not. They do note that Larson is not the only actress on Feige and Lucasfilm's wish list. Back in September, a rumor from The Hollywood Reporter indicated that Feige already had his actor in mind for his upcoming Star Wars role. One knowledgeable source says Feige has told a major actor that there's a specific role he would like that person to play uh, if and when he makes the movie. Brie Larson as a Jedi. Following the rumors surrounding Feige uh, uh, already having a major actor lined up for a specific role, Larson responded on Twitter by sharing a photo of uh, her leaning on C-3PO dressed as a Jedi. Larson wrote, did someone say Star Wars? Um... This isn't the first time Larson has appeared to be campaigning for a role in Star Wars. Back in February, while promoting Captain Marvel, Larson made it ab abundantly clear that she wanted to be in a Star Wars film when she was discussing Samuel L. Jackson's rise in popularity thanks to uh, thanks in part to Star Wars. Larson stated, It's so cool. I wish I was a Jedi. Later on in the interview, Larson would reveal that she got to Will Jackson's iconic purple lightsaber, saying, I got to hold his lightsaber. He, bought, he, uh, he brought it to me on the set uh, on May the 4th. And I cried. It was so cool. I want to be a Jedi. Larson already had a connection to Ahsoka Tano as well. Larson met with Ashley Eckstein, Ahsoka Tano's voice actress, while promoting the uh, opening of Disney's, that's what I was talking about, Disneyland's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The two encounter, uh, and let's see, Ashley, or Eckstein recalled the meeting on Instagram where she stated, Although our universes will never collide, I'll continue to dream of the fan fiction in my head where Ahsoka Tano and Captain Marvel team up to save the universe. And then this is this is uh, this is what Ashley Eckstein said, where she's just kissing Brie Larson's ass. It's 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 cringe worthy, cringe worthy. Uh, talking about how she's a hero, she lives the part both on and off screen. I've long thought about what I would say to her if I ever cross paths. Oh, so sweet. Um, so anyway, if this rumor uh, pans out to be true, it. Quite possibly, uh, it's quite possible that X9 fanfiction might become a reality as Captain Marvel could become Ahsoka Tano. So obviously everybody wants to know what I think about this. And what I think about this is if it happens, if it's true, it just does nothing but give me more validation and credibility. And it makes me right about everything I continue to say. They 
will do anything in their power to push their agenda. Brie Larson fits their agenda. Brie Larson will push their left-leaning politics. They want her in this role. Will it happen? I don't know. But we've seen it. We've seen it time and time again. And now uh, uh, a character that has established herself within this universe is one of the favorites one of the great characters in the universe. Now Brie Larson gets to capitalize off of that. And now if she does get cast in this role, she's going to use Ahsoka Tano's platform to push her identity politics garbage. The same crap that she pushed leading into Captain Marvel. Disney does not care about Star Wars. Disney only cares about their political agenda. So I say go for it because I am emotionally disconnected from Disney Star Wars. Nothing they can do matters to me because it's all not canon anyway. Like, even though I liked Rebels and I love certain parts of Rebels, I'm willing to just let go of Rebels as canon. Like, at this point, Disney Star Wars is not canon. It's just not. And uh, I'm listening to Heir to the Empire right now. That's my sequel trilogy based on what I've heard so far. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll continue to monitor this. I think this is so funny that they just continue to prove me right. And uh, I, I know some people said they're just doing this to spite you, Jeremy. Uh, I don't believe that, but I would love for that to be true. I would love for Disney to be simply doing this to troll me. Uh, I don't think I'm that important, even though a lot of the people that hate me seem to think I'm far more important than I really am. I'm okay with that too. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Disney Star Wars is not canon. Disney Star Wars is a joke. It is garbage. It is trash. And nobody takes it seriously. Look at the replies on the Rise of Skywalker trailer. It is nothing but a meme. There's no serious comments on that entire trailer. Because nobody takes it seriously. It is nothing but a joke. Period. End of discussion. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Uh, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com. And if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops. And in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.